Hello and welcome back to Albania. I have an exciting video for you. Starting here in Girocasta, a few hours south of Berat, another UNESCO listed town with beautiful old Ottoman buildings. But I'm not gonna show you all that in this video, just a few shots because it's more of the same of what we've already seen in Berat. Instead, I'm starting today walking from the town about half an hour to 45 minutes to a special bridge around the sunset time. The town of Jurakasta below, here in a beautiful valley. The castle which I visited yesterday, just above there, overlooking the beautiful old settlement. The castle is really worth a visit. Make sure you allow the time, it's only a few steps away from the centre of town and it has history, of course, dating back through multiple states of affairs over the years from Ottoman to Italian occupation to a prison during the communist times of Enver Hodja, who was actually born here in Jurokasta in this particular town. But more than the history, you can see the stunning views of the valley and small villages in this part of Albania. Absolutely breathtaking to soak it on, especially with this iconic Ottoman clock tower. But right now I'm navigating my way through these outskirts of Jurokasta to reach the aqueduct. making my way through areas where people have sheep and are cultivating land, small little vegetable plots and children running around, a few dogs. So here we are, not long after walking from the centre of Jurokasta, I'm now here beside the bridge, which is sandwiched between the valley there. It's not actually a bridge, it's an aqueduct. Ali Pasha, the powerful Ottoman ruler, commissioned the building of this bridge, which was actually an aqueduct to transfer water to the city from mountain springs. And this little bit that still exists today, Shepherd's Pass before sunset, taking their herds back to their place for the night. Beautiful mountains in the background, and if I focus the camera, you can see yellows and oranges oozing. Starting today's trip outside of Jurokasta to our first stop, Hadrianopolis, which was once a Roman city here in around the second century BC. And first glimpses of the mountains in the morning with the cloud hanging over. A fascinating thing about Albania that a lot of people don't know is just the amount of archaeological sites that are here that have not been properly excavated. It has enough to rival other countries in Europe. A short drive up the mountainside and now we're at the top in the villages and in front of me here an old World War II memorial which commemorates the deaths of those 
Albanians who fought the Nazis in these hills. You'll find thousands of these all over Albania, but in particular from here, as you can imagine, the views feel super fresh as it rained last night. In this house here, we can see in the garden, grapes being grown, perhaps for wine or even to help make raki. Near the top of the mountain here, an old monastery, which inside has been plastered over the murals on the left. During the times of communism in Albania, the monks were kicked out, religion was banned as the state didn't want the practices of it. But places like this were kept more as a monument to remember the past, they weren't all completely destroyed, but evidence of what the communist years did to Albania. Inside all the murals so well preserved and quite ironically a communist star placed here right beneath the cross in Jesus. After the monastery, another short drive over some beautiful mountain views and some steep roads, almost Nepal-like with steep drops. And we're now here in Zagoria National Park in Europe's last wild river. And this here is a slightly cold but very beautiful part of the park. And I'm just going for a quick dip towards the waterfall at the end over here. Bit of climbing over the rocks and beautiful natural waterfall. Really cool place. Albania is so full of hidden gems like this, which you need to connect with the right person to find. Um, I'm doing this trip today with Stone City Hostel and Walter has helped to organize the trip. I'll leave the link of the hostel in the video description. We're gonna enjoy all of this while I'm here now. This is the 4x4 we've been taking to get around today and now stopping here for some lunch in this beautiful village in the mountains here. So we just finished lunch at the top of the slope which we worked our way up from the pools after our swim and now we are hiking between two ranges. The most direct way back to Jurocasta is this way, if you were to go straight. We're very close to the border with Greece here in the south of the country. And you can also go hiking in the north, Theth, Valbona, which I will get to later on in the trip. Another monastery 
or the ruins of one. One of the many that was completely whitewashed, as I mentioned earlier. This one here, far more remote than the other. Albania, once the most atheist country in the world, today full of abandoned monasteries and churches and mosques. In this beautiful idyllic setting, it does have a magical feeling to it that I can't quite put my finger on. Some of them completely whitewashed, plastered over inside the murals, but some also partially preserved as we saw earlier. Let's take a look inside this one. Just some murals remaining, but the rest totally gone. These churches were as decorated as those that you find in Greece. Old Ottoman aqueduct built by Ali Pasha to transport water fresh water across the mountain ranges. Having hiked a bit more, we're now in the next village and right here an old abandoned school during the communist era with some interesting objects inside. And then they made this drill room here. Uh, in springtime you get people doing these hikes, but it's like a very small group. Here in the old classroom, just littered with old books of communist teachings crazy what you're finding here. There's even a old frog, which was once a science experiment, I suppose. In here, a book by Enver Hoxha, who wrote loads of books during his time, amongst all this stuff. Another book. Final Written by Lenin. I mean, they, he does it now too, though. Yeah. Interesting, like. But sort of stamped. And the Hodge's name on the outside of the school. Having driven back up to the top of the valley with Jurocasta now on this side, we are walking along this ridge to take in the cloudy sunset today. The scenery around here, it goes without saying in this video. I feel very lucky to have been able to have access to capture it. It is majestic and an eye-opening experience because I think a lot of people don't really know a lot about what Albania can offer but it is full of these gorgeous mountain villages, valleys, rocky scenery, lakes and of course beaches which I will get to later on in the trip hopefully perhaps when I finish things off but this is the part of Albania that I think, if you're like me, will impress you most. Amazing views on the top of the ridge. 
where we just came from and now the other side here with Chiricasta on the far side not really that far away comparatively and the sun slowly edging downwards as I soak in this for the last of this video hope you enjoyed this short trip in some of the rural parts of Albania outside of Jurakasta. Once again, the link for Stone City Hostel is in the description if you're interested in taking part in one of these trips. That's all for this video. A little bit more coming from Albania in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.